Hey Scrappers. Alright, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about my gold recovery and refining videos. Just keep in mind that I'm a hobbyist. By no means am I an expert. Um, I'm learning a lot of this stuff as I go. Um, and I'm just sharing basically with you folks uh, what I learn, when I learn it, and you know how my experimentation is going. Uh, so make sure if you're going to do any of these things, which I really don't recommend, um, you know, do this safely. Make sure you have proper safety equipment. Um, you know, goggles, gloves, definitely gloves. Um, something to like a respirator or a face mask at the very least. Um, and do all these things in a very well ventilated area or outside. And that's about it. So keep watching. Scrappers, Moose here again. So tonight we're going to be doing our 100th episode. Um, it's going to be a video that you guys have been requesting quite a bit lately. Um, and that's how to actually recover the gold off of these um, printer cartridge ribbons. So we're going to need three chemicals. We're going to need muriatic acid, 31.45%, regular household bleach, and sodium metabisulfite, or bonide stump out. Uh, has uh, sodium uh, pyrosulfite in it, which will do the same thing. So first off, you're going to start off with um, a very small amount of hydrochloric acid. Um, the solution can hold a lot of gold in it, uh, so you don't need to use a whole hell of a lot. So let's take a look down here. All right, so we're going to start by adding some hydrochloric. Fifty milliliters, and you don't need very much. This stuff will take a, a lot of gold into solution. All right, then we have fifty milliliters of bleach. Just gonna add a small amount at a time. Very important to do this outside. All right, we're going to start adding the foils. Stir them around. What you should start to notice is the solution is going to turn yellow. That's the gold going to the solution.
So when you pull them out, if you look at it, you'll see that there's no more gold color on there. So it means the gold is now in solution. So I'm going to put these in a bucket over here. I'm going to be rinsing them one more time before I toss them out. So again, you see all the gold in the back of that's gone. And it's just about all gone in the front. All right, for the sake of keeping good data, just a uh, note that there's 25 grams of foils here. So what you're doing is, right now, you're making auric chloride, um, which is a solution of gold that can hold, um, I mean, this, this amount of solution could probably hold almost an ounce of gold. You don't want to add too many ribbons at one time because it might prevent some from making contact with the solution. Alright, so at this point all the, all the foils are, are pretty much clean, all the uh, uh, plastic ribbons. So what we're going to do is we're going to filter off the solution. Uh, it's very important that you filter because when you precipitate you don't want to have foreign particles in there. It should be a nice yellowish color. This has a little bit of a green tinge to it. I think there's probably some copper in there. Um, hopefully not too much. And that's it. So what you're left with is auric chloride. Uh, from there, um, all I have to do is precipitate it out with some bonite stump remover that in another video. Um, so I'm going to show you what else you can use the auric chloride for, which is something that I usually just keep it bottled up. Um, and when I feel the solution is saturated enough, then I'll uh, precipitate it out. Uh, but in another video, I'm going to show you how to um, get the gold off of things like uh, you know, plates. And you have the gold rim on the end. I'll show you how to get that off very easily. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Stop! Don't go anywhere. Leave a comment down here. I want to hear from you. I want to know if you think I'm doing something great. If you don't like what I'm doing. If I miss something, by all means, let me know. Write it right down here in the comments. All of my other viewers want to see what you have to say as well. The whole reason why I do this is to help share information so that we can all be on the same page. And, you know, knowledge is power. The more knowledge you have about these things, the more money you can make. So, we're all in this together. Go make some money. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe.